Hello Pretties, it's Angela here and today's video is going to be the unboxing of the Best Bead Box XL version from Potomac Beads and um, so let me go ahead and get right into it. My box actually came pretty nice this uh, month. It's got a little crease in it here but it's not as banged up as it, as it has been <laughs> the last few months. Um, Alright, so in the Best Bead Box XL version when you open up the box um, you get a card on top, and it tells you what the theme is for the month. And it says, it, here, are Orange Blossom. It gives you a little description of the box. And then on the back side, you have a um, list of what the contents of the box. You get two patterns with the XL version. You get two patterns, and also uh, that includes all of the beads that you need to make those projects. You also get a bonus pattern, um, which the materials are not included, but you can always find all the materials at Potomac Beads. And also you get a list of items of beads for your stash. And I think the regular version is maybe a little like maybe half of the contents. Um, and then the XL, of course, you get a little bit more content in the box. Um, and I will leave a description of uh, the link for their website down in the description box below okay so let me go ahead and let's look at our patterns for this month the first pattern it looks like we have a basket weave needle case cover and that's really cool um, I will say that I have done some needle cases in the past and these are the ones that I have made to hold my size 10 and size 12 beading needles so I have done a couple of cases before but um i they always welcome new projects besides just necklaces earrings and bracelets and rings um i like different like last month we got the tape measure cover and i thought that was awesome love that love this idea of this project as well um i know i mean just the cost of the needle when i bought my needle cases i think i paid like six to eight bucks a piece for them so, um, and what I also like about Potomac Beads is that they also break down your kits for you. So, like, you have a lot of contents in this box, but your kits are already, everything you need are individually bagged. So, everything that I need for this basket weave needle case cover is in this bag. So, that goes with this one, and I'll show you all those contents in just a moment. And then um, the second pattern, this is really pretty, is the orange blossom necklace. And they also give you the paper pattern and everything is very, very well detailed colored patterns. Um, if you're not a paper pattern type person to want to follow that, you, they also had their tutorials online on their YouTube channel as well. And at the bottom, it tells you everything that you're going to need for this project. Okay, and again, it's broken down into a kit for you. And then our bonus pattern, this is beautiful. Our bonus pattern this month is date night earrings. And if you are interested in making them, you can always go to Potomac Beads and get the supplies that you need. Okay, and sometimes you will get, um, you know, certain things in the box that may work with this. Um, I'm seeing like some chatons in size 39. I did see some chatons in here and they are 39. So you can actually use these um, chatons in this project. So you may have, you know, some things may come in the boxes or may have come in previous boxes. You may not have everything you need in this one box or you may be able to substitute things. Um, if you just wanted to do the little drop crystals, you're already right this portion of the earring and maybe make it a, a three drop. Looks like you have six chatons here, so you can make it like a past, present, future earring. And I'm sure that most people have, you know, different size uh, seed beads and delica beads and bicones, three millimeter bicones. So I think that um, these bonus patterns are really nice and a lot of times we do have pieces that we can make. Uh, make those patterns with. If you don't, you can always go to Potomac Bees. Alright, so before I go into the extra items, the bees for our stash, I'm going to go ahead and move the box off to the side and concentrate on the two patterns first. So the first one again is that basket weave pattern and it tells us what we're going to have in this bag to make this. 
so first of all, we're going to need some Miyuki. Uh-oh, mine busted open, so that's okay. I'm just going to slide those back into my bag so that I don't lose my beads. Um, normally, that does not happen. That's the first time I've had that happen. But anyway, at least it was all in this little bag. <laughs> okay, um, so we're going to have some quarter tealer beads. And looks like we have two different colors. So the colors that I received are um, a matte opaque cream. And I'm gonna put them back in this little bag because I don't wanna lose anything. And I want my beads to stay together. And then it's beautiful salmon color. And they do have the product codes on the bag so that if you need more, you can order. But I will say that they always give you more than enough than what you need to make your pattern. You're not gonna run out of beads, um, you know, in the middle of making something. They do give you a generous amount to make your project. Okay, so those are the, the quarter tealer beads, and then we're also going to need for this project some Toho seed beads, and it looks like two different size 11 O's. So my 11 O's are a luster olivine and a frosted light gray. And if there is, you know, um, maybe you don't want the light gray, or maybe you don't want the olivine, you most people do have size 11 O C beads in their stash. So you could always trade out a color from a previous box, um, you know, to make it more custom to the colors that you want your pattern to be. And of course, the really nice um, needle case. So that's really cool. I look forward to doing another one. Um, this is actually a different length than what I have. It's a lot, it's longer than the beading needle case that I have, and it's a little bit slim slimmer than the one I had. Oh, I'm dropping stuff all over the place. So you can see that mine was a little bit shorter and um, wide, fatter in diameter. Okay, so it'll give me a different pattern because it is a different length and width. So super cool. I'm excited to see that. Like I said, I like different, and that is definitely different. It's not your normal, you know, like I said, bracelet, necklace, earrings, and rings, which is nothing wrong with that, but I do like different. All right, and then our next pattern is the Orange Blossom Necklace, and it gives us the list of contents that we're going to need, and in this little bag we have everything love these colors these are really some pretty oranges and um creams and some it looks like a luster let's see yeah blue luster really pretty so we're gonna have some check round beads in eight millimeter i'm assuming that's these yes and mine are in a blue luster and we only need eight pieces for this project. So again, like I said, they do give you multiple. If you wanted to make maybe a pair of matching earrings, you could probably do this little centerpiece and make a matching earring. So that's those. And then we have some gemstone beads in eight millimeter size. And these are carnelian, beautiful carnelian beads. Lovely shade of orange. It's not real dark, dark. They're, and it does some variated shades in there because it is a natural gemstone. Those are eight millimeter in size. Beautiful. I love getting the gemstones. They started doing that. And then we have some Miyuki drops, which are these in a 3.4 millimeter. Mine are in a matte opaque cream. Very nice. Nice neutral um, tone with that little bit of pop of blue in it. It almost makes it look vintage, like a vintage feel. Then we have some Potomac, I'm sorry, uh, Potomac Crystal Teardrops in 6 by 8 millimeter minor in a rose AB. I think sometimes the, the shades can vary in seed beads uh, from box to box, but I think for the most part, everybody gets pretty much the same thing. Um, so this is the rose AB. And how many pieces of these do we need? We need 30 pieces, so I know there's more than 30 in there. Again, you can use them to incorporate maybe an earring. And then we have some Miyuki seed beads in 11-0. Mine are in a galvanized apricot. Really pretty. Um, It's a little bit lighter than the galvanized gold. Really close, but it's an apricot. 
galvanized apricot. Those are really cool. I don't think I have any in that color, so that's nice. And then we have one table cut button. And I'm assuming that's for the clasp in the back. I could be wrong, but uh, let's see. Let's see. Yes, that's going to be where you put it, uh, you clasp in the back with the, with the button, the table cut button. And mine is called a white travertine. Got that really pretty travertine finish on the back and in the middle here. Okay, so that is everything that is needed for this orange blossom necklace. Other than your thread and your beetle, beading needle. I mean, you do have to have your own needle and thread. I think most of us that bead weave have a stash of needles and thread. <laughs> okay, so that is the two patterns for the Best Bead Box XL version. And like I said, we do get that third pattern um, that we can do from our stash if we had those items okay so beads for our stash we're gonna have let's see four wave trio beads okay and that's these oh these are neat wave trio beads cool it's a three hole bead it is like a wave design you can see that little wave looks like a ocean water wave and it is a three hole bead one two three and mine are in the antique silver. Okay. The next item on the list is three grams of check glass round beads in three millimeter. All right, let me find those. That's four millimeters, so it's not those. That's these. Okay. So I have check round three millimeter mono or white red luster. And you get three grams of those. Those are really pretty. What's it called? White, red, luster. They almost look like a rose. Really, really pretty color. Okay. Then we have four grams of Miyuki seed beads in a 15-0. Okay, I see some in 11-0. Where's the little baby 15-0s? Let's see. Well, it looks like I may have gotten 11 O's instead of 15 O's because I don't see any other seed beads in my box. So it says uh, four grams. These are a metallic green iris. Beautiful color. Love the iris uh, colors. You see a lot of plays of different colors on those beads and the metallic finish. Really nice. So mine are in 11 O. I'm not upset about that. <laughs> All right, we have four grams of Pi Duo beads, unless I'm overlooking them, but I don't see them in here. All right, so Pi Duo beads are these. And let's see, I have them in a metallic emerald. Ooh, those are pretty. I think I got them once before in one of the other boxes in the black when they were brand new. These are in a metallic green, those are cool. Four grams of those, beautiful color. It reminds me of the ocean. Okay, um, and then we have one glass cabochon bead, and it is a 14 millimeter. So here is mine. Mine is called Peach Blossom. That's a really pretty cabochon. It's got some beautiful oranges and some turquoise and pink peachy flowers in that background. Really nice 14 millimeter cabochon. And then we have, um, let me see, three grams of Potomac Crystal Faceted Olives. Huh, what is that? Let's see. Faceted Browns, where are they at? Let's see, I'm looking for them. Oh, okay. Oh, these almost look like a little like a little barrel bead. And this is a metallic gold. They call it them olives. They, they're shaped like a little, kind of like a little olive shape, but it looks like barrels to me. And these are three by five millimeter. And mine are in a metallic gold. I like that. I like that metallic gold color. That's really pretty. And then we have on the next on the list is seven grams seven grams of check glass faceted round in a six millimeter size 
which would be these here, and mine are in a jade and crystal swirl. Oh, those are really pretty. You can see that the variation in the, almost like a um, jade green, a little bit of a opaque and a little bit of a transparent going on there. Super pretty color, love the beautiful color. Those are really nice. And then we have two Potomac Crystal Cosmic Rings. I think, I, I don't know, I think I got these in one of my grab bags. These are 20 millimeter, uh, maybe we did get it in one of the other um, subscription boxes, I'm not sure. But I know I have a couple of these and these are a beautiful um, volcano color, love that color. You see all the beautiful purple and green and gold. These are gorgeous, love those. So I have to look up a pattern um, to do something with these and see if see what my other color is and maybe I can um, make a bigger piece since I have more instead of just a pair of earrings. But definitely love those as well. Potomac Beads has some beautiful crystals and really nice, nice quality beads. Um, okay, so the next thing is two Potomac Crystal Long Ovals. And I do not have any like this. So this is pretty cool and different. 9 by 27 millimeter and mine are in a light rose. They have that silver foiling on the back. And then they're a beautiful rose AB color. I'm sorry, not AB, light rose color. They're picking up more clearish color. It looks like, um, from what I can tell through my phone, but they are a rose, pink, pinky rose color. Really pretty. Okay, so we got two of those. Would make a nice pair of earrings to do bead embroidery around those as well. Then we have four grams of check glass daggers and three by 11 millimeter and that is these mine are in the color of jade it has the hole drilled in the top so they're dagger beads goes really beautiful with these check glass rounds that's a really nice match there and then i have let's see five check glass ladybug beads in 10 by 14 millimeter these are cute. I have a, I do have quite a bit of uh, ladybug check glass collection. I do like them. Um, these are a little bit, I think, larger than the ones I have in my Facebook group available. But those are really pretty. Check glass ladybugs. I love flowers and leaves and ladybugs and things like that. All right, and then we have four grams of Potomac Crystal Round Beads in a four millimeter size, and that's these. Mine are in a Tanzanite AB, so it's that really pretty purple Tanzanite with the AB finish. Those are four millimeter rounds in size. Okay, then we have two Potomac Crystal Navettes. That's these. Oh, beautiful vitrelle. 13 by 27 millimeter. I don't have anything in this size as well. Um, it is silver on the back. Faceted, beautifully faceted. So you pick up tons of play and light and color. Love the vitrelle. It's kind of like the volcano. It's got, it picks up a lot of those blues and purples and golds and greens. Lots of beautiful colors shining through on those. And then, let's see, we have, I think, two more items. We have two, no, that was the Nevettes. Okay, and then we have six Potomac Crystal Chatons. That's these that we were looking at earlier. And I absolutely love these. Crystal AB, these are gorgeous. Um, I'm really loving these and I'm definitely going to make something with these. Um, like I said, if I don't have, um, the right size, it calls for two 13 by 18 millimeter pear drops, but I'm wondering if you could even substitute this and I'm sure you could, you just have to figure out your number count. Um, but you could use something like that, um, or you could even use possibly those, rose ones would be really pretty like that dropped from the bottom and then maybe do a couple of the round 
bezeled chatons. If not, you could do, like I said, a past, present, future and do three drops on each earring. So you could have three. These are beautiful. These are absolutely gorgeous crystals. Definitely loving those. And then I don't know. Oh, one pewter charm. I did overlook my pewter charm because I was supposed to have one more little baggie in here. And it says you get one pewter charm. Mine is a little strawberry and this could not be more perfect for me. I live in uh, here in Louisiana and right now is strawberry season. We normally have a strawberry festival in um, a town called Ponchatoula close to me. And unfortunately with COVID, they haven't had it last year or this year. But um, I love this. This has a very special meaning for me here in Louisiana with strawberry season. Now we do have a strawberry patch that's about, a, uh, I think it's about a, an hour drive from me where you can go and pick your own strawberries out of a field, which is kind of awesome too. And, we, and we've done that before and like to do that. So really appreciating that little strawberry charm. <laughs> and so that is everything for this month's box. The three patterns, too, with the complete kits and then all of our bonus beautiful extra crystals and check glass. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of the Best Beadbox XL. If you would, please give me a thumbs up and click on subscribe. Click on the notification bell when it appears so that you can be notified each time I upload a new video to YouTube. And until the next video, guys, bye!